en pays des Pixels. No man for any considerable period can wear one face to themselves and another to the multitude without finally getting bewildered as to which may be the true. What's up nerds and welcome to What's So Good About, that show we occasionally have where we talk about a game we really like for 10 minutes because there's nothing better than mindless gushing slash, you know, we talk about why we think these games deserve your attention. <laughs> My name is Jacob Cavanaugh and this time, as you can quite clearly see, I am talking about Buried Stars. If you were checking out our lists for the top 5 games of 2020, then you would have seen that Buried Stars made, well, my top 5. Occasionally I like to punch Buried Stars on YouTube and, you know, see what comes up. Maybe there's a new Let's Play, maybe someone will have written a cool review on it. Or maybe, preferred option here, a video where someone goes, Hey, this is cool, check it out, will exist. However, at this time of writing, they don't. Which is why I'm gonna do it myself! So, without further ado, Let's bury ourselves in the details. That was desperate, I know. I'm sorry. Developed by Lion Games and Team Largo, Buried Stars is a survival adventure game released onto the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch midway through 2020. And it's still stuck on console. I am begging for a PC release. The first act of our tale begins the season 4 finals of an in-universe reality show, Buried Stars, or called B-Stars for short. It's similar to other shows like X Factor or The Voice, or insert country here, Idol, where a bunch of wannabe singers or indie performers who want to get into the fancy side of the music industry compete for prizes and name recognition. It used to be a bona fide reality TV show, but ever since season 3, producers started slipping scripts and things to contestants to create drama so they could improve the ratings. And it worked. The show's popularity skyrocketed. Anyway, season 4 is down to its last 5 contestants and the live audience and viewers at home will be voting for who they want to win. Whoever receives the least amount of votes will be eliminated from the round. It all goes catastrophically wrong though tonight when our venue pretty much caves in on live television. In the heat of the moment, our hero, Du Yon Han, sees that one of his competitors is in the path of some especially large debris that is falling right towards them. He thinks fast, he moves, he lunges, he pushing them out of the way, becoming trapped under the rubble himself. It isn't too long, however, before he is rescued by the contestant he just saved, as well as the fuller director. It it does seem, however, there has been a short time skip between Duyon being buried and then being rescued. The live audience has luckily escaped from the venue largely unharmed, but the contestants, the producer and the floor director are not so lucky. They've become our buried stars and are quite trapped. Oh, actually, never mind, we've just got word the producer is even less lucky than initially assumed she's dead. That's fun. Anyway, this is where most visual novels would casually lock the group off from the outside world. The cave hen is locked out cell reception! Or maybe a person would show up dressed in a mysterious mask and go, Oh ho ho ho, I have usurped your silly game show in favour of my much more sophisticated tastes, and throw our cast into a death game of some sort. Buried Stars, however, has its characters instantly get on their phones, fancy company given smartwatches, and they make contact with other staff who have arranged rescue teams. So by the time you've figured out what's going on, rescue teams are already on the move and they should have the gang out in about 10 hours. All that's left is to sit tight. What could go wrong? Well, aside from the rest of the venue caving in and crushing them inside, that is. <laughs> so what do you do when you're stuck in ruins without anything specific to do for 10 hours, but you have an internet connection? Well, actually the gang take the time to use social media and confirm their current safety. And then, well, there's not much they can do but passively browse. And so can you! Just like hit visual novel available on Steam, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Robotics Notes, which you should also play, you can browse your Twitter feed. In Buried Stars, however, it's called Fata, and it's a bit more integral to the overall story. Using Fata, you'll discover information that may or may not be entirely relevant, but will net you conversation topics. You can also engage with Duyon's fans, haters, and these conversation topics are what you'll be able to bring up with the other cast members. For example, in the early game, you'll initially be talking about the collapse, the reasons for it, the producer's death, and the possible impact this will all have on the sake of the show. 
From there is where things start to get really out of hand. The votes are still going and the dead producer's Twitter account starts posting threats to the cast's life. Should they not confess to their sins? And just to make sure these aren't empty words, some private information is disclosed that is just true enough to set Twitter going nuts. These facts and the web's reactions to these facts are what you'll be spending large portions of the game discussing, as well as the history of the show, to figure out what's going on. You'll also meet my favorite character, the sarcastic and elusive Plughole. If the name sounds weird, it's because it's a classical online alias. He's a dude who slid into Duyon's DMs to figure out what's going on himself. What unfolds is an absolutely excellent mystery that I adore and love to bits. It's so damn good. It's, pe it's carefully planned out, but rolls out so smoothly and God, I love it so much and I need to move on or I'm gonna be here all day. So what's next? Well, look at those visuals. Look at them. Look at them. The art in this game is absolutely peak and it is immensely attractive. The emphasis on color really makes the cast stand out from the drab backgrounds, which are largely rendered in 3D, allowing for rotated camera shots to give 2D portraits dynamic places in which to exist. It's a fantastic mode of presentation and it keeps the visuals interesting without looking samey, despite the, well, drab backgrounds. Cause you're constantly seeing them in new ways. This in itself really helps sell the dreary mood and atmosphere without it feeling overly oppressive. Within the title itself, you spend the bulk of the game conversing with the other adult cast members. It is a visual novel after all. But as mentioned earlier, you have control over topics within the frequent conversation segments. Different cast members will react differently to various subjects and you'll find out more about them as you share your past with each other. Helpfully made topical by all the speculative social media crowd guessing over the truth of the accident that happened merely hours ago. And the dead producer showing up to make a fire out of the fuel. These interactions echo how relationship mechanics work in other games, but Buried Stars finds a way to make that information immediately relevant to the current situation as you attempt to connect the dots between characters and events. The fact that the sharing of information also flushes out the protagonist's backstory, well, it serves to help make Doyon a distinct and unique character. Everyone you can interact with is super interesting and fleshed out and I love them all a whole lot. Do not make me pick any more favorites, I will die trying to decide between them. It's also neat that Doyon gets these rad thinking sprites whenever you need to present evidence because, you know, that also helps establish him as his own person as opposed to just a viewpoint. He's like an Ace Attorney attorney in these scenes, except so much cooler. Your choices will influence the ending you get, but remember that the game records the results of your choices in a little log, so you can easily remember who likes what on previous runs. But don't fear messing up. It'll only make the mystery that more interesting and the satisfaction more gratifying to reach that true ending on your own some. There's also the amazing music with four tracks that really stand out. You've got the opening theme, Be Honest, the main theme, Buried Stars, and the two discussion tracks, Top 5 and Betrayer. These latter two really stand out for going way too hard for standard talk tracks. They're intense and they encapsulate the story's overall pragmatic but layered atmosphere. Here's the bottom line. What's so good about Buried Stars? It's an extremely compelling mystery filled with all sorts of twists and turns, with an excellent cast of fully adult characters that have both depth and relevance. It's got some masterful art direction and character design. It's punctuated by some incredible songs and it uses a whole collection of its resources in very surprising ways. I recommend it a whole lot in case it wasn't obvious. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. That's that's all we've got here. I don't know how to end these things. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell, you know, all that jazz. And let me know if you played the game, please. I, 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 want, I want to talk with people who have, I want to bring up how cool it is to people who are like, hey, this is cool, isn't it? <laughs> Help.